coffee is used to accentuate focus on enterprises that are subject to question, period. That's it. Coffee in its own right can be used as a creative, positive energizer. Absolutely. And what is that art? All in the performance. You know, the steamed milk when you do the latte. All the good to smell the aroma, the presentation, and the smile. There's an art to understanding how you'd like your coffee, and there's an art to roasting coffee. And all it needs is a little bit of attention and discrimination on the point of the consumer. Definitely. And what is that art? That's a secret, Mike. Oh, God. Years and years of training. I'm not going to divulge it on a little video like this. Yes. You have to have all the right temperatures and steam the milk very gently. Okay, so what's the secret to making a good cup of coffee? The secret to TLC. Well, yes, there is. It depends on a number of factors. <laughs> beans, well roasted beans, right water temperature, lots of different factors. And of course, enough coffee, very important. Coffee is a drug. It's a drug the same as as chocolate is. It's an emotional drug. It's not an addictive, bad, dangerous drug. Do you view coffee as a drug? No. <laughs> no. You got some? Uh, no. No, am I supposed to? <laughs> Should it be regulated? Drugs are regulated, aren't they? Yes, it is. I know somebody that had five cups of coffee before noon, and if they didn't have one by one o'clock, they started to get a headache. So I would say that is a drug. Oh, definitely. Yeah, people, you can tell that they lift them up after they have their coffee. Coffee is a definite drug. Let's be glad it's legal. Coffee a drug? Yes. It's a legal drug. It's a happy drug. Actually, beginning to replace the mall as a place, as a place to have or to meet people and be with people. Well, they say, um, "Como frijoles? How have you been?" Bean is such a big part of our diet and our nomenclature semantics. I think they're they're messed up with words. Who is they? <laughs> Who is they? That's a good question. They is them. It's an essential social role to many, stimulator to others as well as the previous population, and it's a great place to meet people. What does the coffee shop represent? To represent to who? Well, what does it mean to people? Why do people 
Why do people... I mean, a hundred years ago, people didn't hang out in coffee shops. Why do yeah, they, they do did. it now? Did they? Yeah. It wasn't, al it wasn't allowed by... Uh, what females weren't allowed to go into coffee shops, but it's always been a socially acceptable thing for males for, since the for a century, for sure. Oh, a place to hang around and read wonderful newspapers, drink coffee, and enjoy semi-intelligent conversations. Semi. I think that people hang out in coffee shops um, to get away from the ordinary. And I think that's the same reason that they come and drink a great cup of coffee in a coffee shop to get away from their ordinary coffee at home. And I think that it's a great place to meet people and it's become, um, it's become the modern equivalent of, of a tavern or a beer parlor or a pub. It's, it's a meeting place and if it's got a really great atmosphere, people will stay longer too. And see and and well, that's for the audience. Oh, coffee has <laughs> an effect on the neurospheres. The world we perceive is here. It is, folks, an instant coffee film.